Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Excuse me, I just had a Jack in a Box burrito and it's, yeah, Jack in a Box burrito. Yeah. Um, <coughs> shop is a mess. I've been a very busy couple weeks with orders and I haven't had a chance to spend a shop day with things having to go out. So, but I wanted to get this video done for a while. And I thought I'd do it this morning before I start up the CMC machine for a five, six hour car. But I wanted to review the dust right here. You guys um, may have seen the last video where I purchased the dust right, got it installed. But I have gone ahead and done a little bit of, uh, you sh should be able to see it on the screen here, a little bit of uh, ducting work. Um, my initial review after using this for a couple weeks is when I had just the hose connected to it it was awesome it worked real well on getting anything around the shop with this uh, 20 wood foot hose um, I went ahead and like I said I put ducting on it and I put it in a second stage and I'll bring the camera in closer and show you how I did that I quite like that um, but all that did decrease the suction power, so it sucks a little less, and that's in a bad way. So, but it still works for me. Don't get me wrong. What I did is it goes into the uh, second stage collection here, and then I have ducting go or first behind the barrel back there. I do have a Y and a blast gate, and that blast gate handles this hose from dust right with the uh, quick connect handle and this will connect up to my table saw and to the planer and then I got a uh, joiner down there I just wheel those things out here connect them up and it works excellent even from that blast gate and after the second it works great very little dust comes up here planer it gets it all the jointer not the fault of the dust collection. The jointer's built-in dust collection, I'll say it sucks in a bad way. It still spews stuff all over. I've been meaning to uh, look at it, take it apart, see if I can improve it. I haven't got to there yet. So that's the first blast gate. And then I got a four inch duct and I used the flexible. Um, you can get 10 feet of flexible for like it was on sale for 20 bucks I know I should use a uh, rigid it would probably improve it a little bit but I don't think it, that's uh th about three feet I don't think it's gonna improve it that much so but it was quick and easy and then I have a Y and a blast gate and the Y is a four inch and then the Y part is the two and a half inch or two and a quarter and I have that coming up to a blast gate mounted right here underneath my saw so I can use uh, the dust right small tool hose. And so I bring my assembly table a little bit closer and then I can connect it to the sander or my uh, biscuit joiner. And it, even at this end, it, it, it works great. I'm gonna turn it on to kind of show you. It's quiet. And you can actually, Got some suction there. And it's not a lot. It's not like it's directly connected to it, but it does work well. And I can stretch this out. You can't see it over here, but I can stretch it out to the top of my CNC machine. Get that a little bit done anyway. And it will come out here to this table, but I prefer to move the table a little bit closer. But if you for getting get anywhere on this bench top too. And I mean the suction is less than like I said connecting directly to the the blower but it's enough it picks things up. It's not gonna pick up big chunks of wood you know but it works quite well. And then I had that Y directly coupled to another Y and then it goes up into a, uh, a duct vent type plastic piece you can pick up for like nine bucks. 
when I bring the camera in, I'll show you that close up there. But it's about eight inches wide, three inches deep, or maybe a little bit deeper, across the back of this saw. I do need to get this replaced so it goes all the way down, but it does a fairly good job of sucking most of the dust in when I use the miter saw. There is some that, of course, since the saw is out here, it spits some out. But I think once I get this down all the way, that will improve a little bit more. And then from that, I just have another blast gate. I kind of put it, because I, I, at the time, I was thinking I might go further down because I want to put my sander down there. At this junction of using it, I don't think I'll have enough suction down there for the sander. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll probably try it out, but I may need to go something more powerful. This is a, I believe, it doesn't say here, um, I believe this is a three-quarter horsepower blower. Um, but it, it says uh, 650 CFM, and I don't know where they're taking that measurement from. If it's 650 CFM directly at the blower, or if it's after 10 foot of straight pipe, I don't know. And I do have a little bit of curve here going, so that's kind of uh, decreasing the efficiency a bit too. So, <clears throat> but the idea is to take this unit in the second stage and put it behind this wall once I get that cleared out. And then that pipe will be a little bit straighter, not too much, but, um, well, I'll go ahead and pop the camera off and give you a close-up view of everything and show you the second stage. Let me grab some real quick. When I show you the close-up, um, I went through a lot of YouTube videos where they make a fine, a fine, fine, fine baffle. And you have the intake from the blower here straight in the top. And then you have curving out the side of it going to your rest of your feeds. <clears throat> and that works great. But um, I bought this kit at Rockler. It's just right for separation. And all it is is two direct feeds in with a 90. And you're supposed to put the 90s in opposite directions. So it creates a cyclone. And I had my uh, doubts about that. But as I'll show you, it works great. Yes, some stuff just get in the bag, and I'll show you that as well. But it's not a lot. And um, if I need to down the road, I'll just install a baffle a couple inches down, and, it, and that will help uh, clean it up a little bit more. But let's get you off the tripod here and bring you in a little closer. Let's see here. What screw do I turn? That one there. Let's pull here. There we go. So let's pull the saw away a little bit. So all I did is buy a tra I was going to buy a barrel, but barrels are, are now $30, $40. And I had to go all the way down to Spring Valley, which for me is a half hour trip. And I didn't want to do that. So I just got this $14 trash can from... Uh, Home Depot, and then I got a piece of three-quarter inch MDF. I, I could have went with half inch in hindsight. I thought went three-quarter because I thought the weight would keep this down, but when it turns on, the suction keeps it tight. And what I did is I, I used my CNC machine to put two holes in this, and that's another reason why I love this little kit. Let's go back over to the little kit here. Because the little kit comes in two pieces here that just screw together in the hole you make. So it makes it really easy. You don't have to silicone anything. You don't have to glue anything. And there's the inside after using this for maybe a week, week and a half, I think. I, I think I built this about a week and a half or two weeks ago. And that's a lot of planer used right there. And that's going to become mulch out in my garden. But you see I got one ninety going that way. Other 90 going that way, and it works quite well. And what I also did on the CNC machine, yeah, CNC machine is I had it carve out a groove 
which fits right around the rim of the trash can. You know, and in hindsight thinking, you might not even need that because the suction really pulls this down. So there's that. Let's move this hose out of the way. And if you can see through the window of the bag here, this is all that's made its way into the bag, you know. It's only, it's not even up to the bottom of the window there. And after a week and a half of work, and what you saw that's in there. So that's pretty good, I think. And when I get a breathing moment, what I might do is build a baffle. One hand, hold this. A little baffle that will be right here. I'll t attach it up here with two bolts and it'll have the slot needed uh, on whatever side I need to put it on. And that will probably help um, get mo more of the material to stay in the second stage. But I'm happy with that. You know, that's not much for the time. And I'm ready to empty this. So I'm really happy. So a close up view. Down there is the baffle, or the, uh, right in there, where's my finger? Right in there is the blast gate for the hose. There you go. And then it continues down here. And then there, if you didn't see it in the video when it was on the tripod, there's my configuration there. Blast gate for the miter saw. Little blast gate for the little hose to get everything else. And then let's see if we can get back there. You can see the uh, little duct there that uh, will suck everything up from the miter saw. So that's it for now. I mean, the CNC machine has its own dust collection with its two, uh, second stage up front here so I can see it fill up. And ever since I got that dust stopper from Home Depot, it has been awesome. Everything gets stopped in this bucket. And I'd say less than 1% ends up back in the fine turbo uh, vacuum. So I'm really happy with that too. So that's the dust collection for the CNC machine. And this is for everything else in the shop. Let me make sure that's on right. There we go. So that's it for me today. I'm going to put this on the tripod. Let's go over here. Clamp it like that. <clears throat> so that's for it for me today. It's getting oh, it's ten thirty. So gonna go grab my Red Bull and get to work. I got another piece of flag to throw on the CNC machine. Gonna finish this growth chart, and I have a sign here I need to cut out in sand and lots of work. Lots of work. So. That's it with my desk collection, and if you have any questions about it, any comments, please leave them below. I try to answer everybody, and if you like the video, subscribe, click like. I appreciate all that stuff. You know the spiel. Every video YouTuber does at the end, you get the idea. So anyway, have a great week, guys. Weekend coming up. I'm going to go see Shazam by myself. The family doesn't want to see Shazam. I don't know why. Sounds good to me, but... I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great week.